there will be music, there will be other things. So just prepare your hearts and minds for pure bliss. Pure bliss, okay? Heaven on earth. Our next act coming up it is a rising it. star and comedic just genius. It. Born in a small town in Connecticut, David Farrell is quickly becoming well renowned around FUS for his clean, family friendly stand up comedy. You may have heard of him in the cast or um, in other gigs around campus. Wednesday night, bacon night in the cast, he received a standing ovation. No, no more ado, let's hear it for David Fail, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, David. Yeah, David. <laughs> He's <laughs> Buttons on. How am I supposed to make a call with a microphone if I can't dial a number? <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to make a call with a microphone if I'm not supposed to even see the number? After all, it's a microphone. Anyway, so, okay. You guys have seen black and white posters on campus. And I think black and white is really depressing. That's why I love black and white until I came here. And then I, well, I got half. I don't know. So, I want to talk about it. No Fear November. There has been a lot of controversy over No Fear November. I think No Fear November is good. I think it encourages respect. I think it encourages communication. I, I think it encourages honesty. However, a lot of people say it's not fair. Well, guess what? No Fear November is not supposed to be fair. If No Fear November was fair, it would not be No Fear November. <laughs> Got it. I keep going about my dating experience. I want to talk about my first date. Everyone remembers their first date. I don't really remember it much. I know, I was young, you know. And mom was like, why is there food all over the floor? I was like, mom, I was on a date. She was like, you're not supposed to put food on the floor and stand on top of it? Well, I'm sorry, you're supposed to be on a date. I mean, really, think about it. Oh my God. <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> that was a lot of my own humor. <laughs> well, am I a professional or a college student? Think about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I believe dates come in packages of 50. How else do you get 50 first dates? <coughs> or 50 shades of gray? I see stuff in black and white. Either it's more on the right or it's not. If it's not right, it's left. Behind. <laughs> 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 so how to date? I was crazy, and one sign said, you know, not supposed to speed date. I agree. Right date, and within the speed limit. <laughs> but if it's no fear in November, shouldn't we drive fearlessly and recklessly? <laughs> Reckless driving is an oxymoron. Reckless driving actually increases the chance of getting into a wreck. Can you believe it? Reckless. Uh. <laughs> Plus, it's not right. It's left. Turn. Which means you cannot make it safely if you're driving too fast. Enough of this. It's driving me crazy. Ah! <laughs> 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 uh, now here's the problem. Hey, so, hey. Time. <laughs> so I'll talk about the farmer. He was outstanding in his field. <laughs> you get it? He was outstanding in his field. Until he went inside. And he was no longer outstanding in his field because he was inside his house. <laughs> so he was in his tractor, and he hit a rock, or he hit a hard spot, or he caught between a rock and a hard spot. It really doesn't matter what the case was, it's irrelevant. What's relevant is what happened afterwards. He went into his field, and he drove over a part of his crop. He drove into the wheat, and the wheat got shredded. You know what he had? Shredded wheat. <laughs> no, these jokes are not corny. If you want to hear a corny joke, it's called a cornfield that the tractor ran into, and the farmer got cornflakes. That is a corny joke, my friend, so that's too corn. <laughs> I talk about corn until the cows come home. But haven't we heard enough about beef? So I guess we're stuck with corn. Corn dogs, corn maize, corn chips, you need those. The proverbial chip on one shoulder can totally be corny. And you know what? I don't want to get myself into a hole like some of those gentlemen in what ladies in the back. You know, corn hole. <laughs> you know, dead people get themselves in the hole because that's what we do to people when they, get, when they die. We put them in a hole. You don't want to be in a hole. You want to be alive in the Lord. Out of the Lord, out of the hole, and fight for it in the name of the Lord. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's what Christ did. He rose from the dead. 
He got out of the hole. He was in a jam, like strawberries, in a jar. And he rose from the dead. He said, there's no jam for me. There is no jam. He did say, man does not live on bread and water alone. Well, guess what? Sorry, guys. If you want to eat your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, don't peanut butter. Guess what? Christ got out of a gym. So you have to eat your peanut butter and jelly, no matter what you think about how bad it tastes. It's just the way it is. So now the core mate. Why are people nervous? The creepy looking guys are there. They're afraid they might be corn stalker. Or corn, corn oscar. Oh, suck. That one was flat. Like a corn flour pancake. And, and, and bland, too. Like one that did not have pancake syrup on it. Well, who wants pancake syrup when you get maple syrup? Vinny, if you you do it. Woo! So anyway, about the necessity of the essence of the redemptive property to preserve the position of the people in corn maple. Oh, looks like a lost you. Well, this is a corn maple. It happens. I would hope that there would be more ears in here than in the cornfield. That's why you don't talk about secrets on the farm. So anyway, that's the th that was the time when the American farm system produced workers. Now the American League farm system produces major league baseball players. A home run used to mean you ran to your house. Now we think of Stephen Drew in the Royal Series. Alas, why did the Cardinals gather and people say to play the Red Sox? The Cardinals gathered so they could play the Red Sox. I'm like, no, that's not what the Cardinals gathered for. Their socks are irrelevant and they gathered to elect Pope Francis. I think it really reminds us of Pope Francis of Hope. People say that he's a breath of fresh air. I digress. I say that Pope Francis is a human being. <laughs> and that, my friends, is it. Yeah! yeah!